Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers and today's episode we're going to take a little look at a little mower, I think it's called an Ibeta, um, I-B-E-A, I may be pronouncing that completely incorrectly. Um, it came in as, um, I picked it up uh, as a spares repair mower, the engine is terminal, it's no good, it's got a little quantum three and a half um, on top. Um, so it's no good to me, I have tried fixing it and to no avail, the engine has no compression and won't, won't pull over, so well, it will pull over but it, it won't fire. So that's terminal. Um, so I've got a good deck and um, a, a grass bag and what have you, but no um, engine that runs. But I do have um, one I've just picked up for free, which has got a three and a half classic on top. It's in really ropey condition, but hopefully I can get that engine put on top and get a good working mower out of, out of a two. So if this is your first time watching Mixed Mowers, hit the old subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told I've done a video or two of on my Saturday night weekly live stream. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty and let's see if I can get these two mowers into one and make them run. Well, here's the mower in question. As I say, it's, um, it's got no compression on it at all. So uh, that engine is uh, is terminal, um, but it'd be really good for some spares. I've already had a carburetor off of it in bits and pieces, so that, that's all cool. And I'm gonna try and fit a three and a half classic onto this. Um, I've talked to my Andy, who's a fellow subscriber, does the same as me over the other side of the county. And um, he did a swap as well, so it worked quite well. So um, that's the mower that we're gonna be taking the engine um, off, because it's no good. And out here, it's a bit windy, it's excuse the wind. Here's the mower. We're going to be using it as a donor. Uh, it does pull over. It's got compression. Um, but this is going to be free to collect and uh, it's, it's a, the deck's rusted the other side, it's no good. Incidentally, I've got this one just come in. A uh, nice little Ransoms uh, Marquis mower um, that hasn't run in five years. Um, that one's going to be coming up very, very soon. So I hope I can get that one running as well. I paid. Uh, not a lot for that on uh, eBay, I think I picked that one up, so uh, that's pretty cool. So look out for that video coming soon. Right, so I suppose the first thing I ought to do is to check to see if this um, little lawnmower is actually um, going to at least fire. Um, I haven't even done anything with it at all, it's just been sat atop of the garden for a little while. I've got some spare pull cords which I might put on it. I've um, got a nice pull cord assembly up here with a plastic cover on it, which will make it look a bit newer. So first thing we do is take the plug out. A lot of water in there, sm it smells too. Let's just pull it over. And we get a little bit of carb spray, which is here. Just want to run that in the old, in the old head. This has been sat up um, out an allotment for about two or three years, just tucked behind the shed. So it's not in the best of condition. But as I say, it may very well just, just turn over and fire. That's all we've got half it to do. Just want just to at least just fire up that way we know we have good compression and the engine's, uh, the engine's good. So let's just have a little look, see what happens. Yeah, lovely. Bit of blue roll under the old bench, it's a small piece. That fires straight up, so happy with that. Um, it didn't shake either, so that's good. So we can take this engine off, and um, all the other bits and pieces off of this will be used as spares for other projects, uh, which are sort of, you know, they'll, they'll cost money. So just for instance, these little tiny pieces here, um, you know, they're, they're I use these on a, on a daily basis. So they're all going to look tiny pot just down here. So we start just to strip it down, take the handle, take the handles off, all the bolts, take them all, all can be used for other little projects. So I don't, I don't throw them away. Right, that's all the oil now out of the machine, no carburetor on either. So now there's no fluid in this machine at all. Um, I want to remove the, the, um, the blade bit of that blue roll, remove the blade um, and then undo the um, the bolts that hold it together. Okay, so here's the next um, part of the uh, 
the operation. When this first came, it had no pull cord on it. It was sold to me as a non-runner, and yeah, put a new pull cord on it, and definitely not a non, definitely a non-runner. New spark plug and uh, no compression. So that's the end of that sort of story. We've then got to tip this one up without it tipping all the way over. Some of there will be good. Uh, blade off again. Um, I might try and use the same blade boss. We'll see how, how it configures. But what you're looking for, the most important part, is to make sure that this blade is about um, 10 millimeters inside the deck. It can't be outside the deck. It's got to be inside the deck. This is a push mower. Um, but we'll see how we get on. So first thing again is to remove the bolt, which looks kind of rounded, but we should see. Um, and then remove the engine uh, bolts off of the engine. Okay. I've got a couple of tools, uh, a puller would definitely be one, I want my dizzy die mallet, two, um, I want some penetrating spray, you know, uh, water disbursement spray, tip that engine up a touch, try and get some of the right inside, inside the boss itself, I'm just going to try and give it a couple of taps first off, see if it doesn't free. I doubt it will. Mind you, I think that's going. Oh, I was getting ready for a fight then and all. Lucky, lucky, I got lucky, look. There you go. So, that's got a spacer in there, by the looks of it. It looks like someone's actually put a bearing in there. There's actually a bearing in there, which is weird. I've not seen that before. That Someone might actually put that in there. I have to inspect that. Um, so I might use it just to build, build a space, a gap up. It doesn't move. I can't see why there's a bearing in there, because it'd be just be sitting on the bottom of that, but I reckon someone's poked that in there, but we should see. Um, so that's come off. So no need for the, no need for the puller. <laughs> oh, that was lucky. As I say, I was getting ready for a right fight. I have my puller out and everything. Normally, normally you'll end up fighting with one of them for about an hour, and that's no joke. So let's get the, uh, the engine back up, because I need now to get the boss off of this one, which I'm guessing, if you have one good one, you then get a fight uh, with this one, right? That's what I'm guessing. You always get one to come off and one that don't. Got a bit of rope on here. So let's just try a bit of penetrating water displacement fluid. Try and get some of that in there where we can. And we'll get the old mallet back out and we'll see what happens with this one. I think that's coming. be dreaming I think I am so let's get the puller on that one then I could use a two jaw puller it might be a better preference if I can't get all of these to go around but that, that might hold so on a thin bolt we should go up inside the shaft but not uh, sorry up to the shaft and not inside it you don't want to damage the threads on the shaft itself so start to put that on. Like I say, it comes from a little rider boy, can you hear him? What did mummy say? Mummy said Jeb. Mummy said yeah what? Jeb. Jeb? No, what mummy say? What? Mummy. Okay. He's trying to, this is a problem when you have a child with additional needs and they don't speak. English that we know he speaks broken English and you know it's so hard to try and understand what he's trying to say and that's why he gets so frustrated trying to understand what he's trying to say it's not always easy so now I try to tighten that up as best we can now that is a high tensile bolt in there so it shouldn't give us much grief now that's on I'm gonna now put my impact on there with a 16 mil socket I'm going to try and impact it off. That also helps to shock it. And I'll wind it back in a bit. And 
and that's how you do it. Daddy? Yes, buddy. Coming? I'm coming, mate. Yeah, I'm coming to see what's going on. Right, so now that, that bolt itself is actually um, sort of not bent, but it's, uh, it's a bit tight in there. So we're gonna, just going to loosen that off, put the 14 mil back on. Just want to undo that bolt. That hasn't gone inside the shaft. I hope not. There it goes. It should just literally kiss up against it. Right, now we've got the other, um, now we've got the now we've got the other engine back on, uh, which is where it should be. I'm gonna get the two bolts just to roughly hold it into position. One there. I'm missing a washer there. Should be a washer there somewhere. I'll find it. It's not a life or death. Now we can tip this one up again, so it's roughly in the right position. Let me try and show you guys. I can then get the, the blade. That fits onto it. And when it's all screwed down, that is just, try and get it to sit on better. It's not sitting on them things properly. That's it there. It's about five, about five to eight mil inside the deck. So it's actually perfect. So once that's all, all screwed down, bolted down. Um, we've got a bit of a winner with regards to that engine um, sitting on that mower. The deck's now going to be taken away. That will be cleaned up. Just it's only it's only plastic, so it come up really nice. Um, this engine's then going to be stripped down, cleaned down, and sprayed.
apart. So that's now all stripped and removed and um, all looking in its glory. Now I'm just gonna degrease this, wire brush it, brush it off, air compress it, all that sort of stuff. I don't have the powder coating machines. I don't have the um, sandblast machines. It is something I'm working towards slowly, but it all takes time and money. And um, you know, in the, the space I've got, I don't want to be filling this shed up with all the space that I've, I don't, you know, I, I need. And uh, at the moment, uh, it's something I'm working towards. So um, quick spray off, um, air compress off, and when it's all, all nice and dry, then um, I'll come back and we can start to spray this one up. Right, I've got this paint here, which I bought the other day. Um, high temperature paint up to 650 degrees. It's fast drying. Um, I've got my, my barn doors open, I've got a mask. I'll have a mask when I'm spraying. And then I'll give a quick cut of coats just to cover it. And then we can get on and do the other bits and pieces as well, just to try and tidy it up to make it look a bit uh, more presentable. Okay, I've now sprayed the engine parts off, done the exhaust, done the guard, and done the actual engine itself. That's all been sprayed off with a high temperature paint as well, I've used. Um, I'm going to put those to one side very carefully, and I'm then going to get the deck um, back up, back be cleaned off, um, and uh, what have you. And then we can start to refit this engine once this paint has dried to the deck. Um, screw it all down and then we can then look at reassembling this little engine um, and hopefully start to bring it all together nice and slowly. Right, so uh, deck is now on and uh, just place the engine, I've just put the heat shield on, just sprayed it up so that, that is wet. Um, but I want to try and get some of these engine bolts down so that we can at least try and secure this engine a bit. I think we have these flange bolts from what I remember. Yeah, they are, yeah. They go down. So I'm gonna try and just tip this engine up ever so slightly. It wants a big metal washer, which goes underneath. And then it sort of lines it all up. Now I've got my, my rubber bungs in place and um, the washers that suit them. So hopefully I can just locate the hole. run the first one up very gently push that all the way up in you've got to sort of hold it all as you go that's the problem push that down and just locate that one once it's located we can worry about doing it up a bit later on right, that's that one located the next short one will go up under here and again through the same hole on the engine mount. I'll find it, it is that. So I'll move the washer over slightly. Just have a touch of that spray paint up. I just caught it on the arm. Should have done it beforehand, shouldn't I? But I didn't. That one goes on there. So but I've got one more to do just at the back. Exactly the same process. And then we can then tighten and lock that engine down into place. Right, so I had to use a donor bolt over the far side because um, the bolt that it came with the Quantum um, is considerably longer um, by about three inches. And rather than try and make spaces and pack it all out, I thought it'd just be a darn sight easier just to um, put another bolt in slightly longer. So it's a different style bolt, but um, it is a high tensile steel one. I want my big, my big bar. Which is here. And then we can start to torque down these engine bolts without damaging the paintwork. Best we can. About there. One and that one there. Right, that's down. So now the engine is actually now fixed to the deck and ain't going nowhere. Um, what we can now try and do is fit this boss and blade. Uh, I wanted to give the blade a sharpen, I think. Let's have a little look at it. Yeah, blade was a bit of a sharpen. So I'll do that now. Um, this side isn't too bad. This side has, has had a few dinks in it, so. 
Right, that's the blade now fitted and uh, the blade boss all in, and it's within, yeah, it's within about sort of 10 mil, 10 mil of a deck, so that should be fine for cutting. We'll find out when we, we go to fire it up a bit later on, but um, you don't want it overhanging the deck, that's where you don't want it. So you want it as close to the edge as you can, but definitely within it, and that's about that's about 10 millimeters within it. So we're about right, and the, engine, and the boss is not up against the engine casing, which is more important, okay? So that's that. So we're happy with that now. A lot of grass out the back here, so we'll be able to sweep up later. So now we can start to um, refit some of this engine back together. Now I'm not gonna um, go through it step by step because you have already seen me dismantle it. So I might just put you on time lapse and uh, run through it best I can. And then um, once it's all done, um, I'll take it off time lapse and we'll go from there. New gasket diaphragm on there, uh, that's done. New air filter on there, uh, done the, the brake as you know. Um, new spark plug's gone in as well, that's done. I've also removed the throttle off the top because it doesn't need a throttle on these. I need to find just a, a back brake cover for that. Um, I've got one up in the old shed somewhere, I have to go and dig through my spares up there. But apart from that, that's all done. Hey Nick! Don't forget a dinosaur syrup to go with your muskin juice. Fire up, fire up! Right, now we've got dinosaur syrups in there. Thank you, Terrell, for that. Um, let's try and fire it up now. So petrol's in, oil's in. I've got to do the handles. That's one thing I haven't done. Uh, cable tie the dead man's handle off properly so it fits, fits snugly. But uh, apart from that, it's all now done. I'm hoping this machine's going to fire up. It'll be the first time I've tested it. All I've had is just had it just fire but not actually start. So hopefully it'll, it'll run and start. It may smoke a bit. We'll have to wait and see.
adjust the um, adjust the dead man's handle. It's not quite um, over as far as I would like. Let me do that now. It's ever so slightly just out of position. A little bit of an adjustment. That should be better there. Right, let's try again. That box is okay. Isn't it? Okay, so that's that little lawnmower now all up and running. It's a bit smoky at the moment. It should clear any minutes. Um, probably some oil in that old uh, in that old exhaust, I dare say. But uh, it'll be run for about another 10, 15 minutes. I have also just found a little brake cover to go on the back of the dead man's handle um, switch. Um, I had to adjust that ever so slightly. Um, I've got to do the handles and what have it, and a little repair to the grass box. Just want to sew up a little tiny bit. I think that's all it is. But all in all, quite happy with it. It looks like it's uh, starting to stop smoke now. So hopefully. For the next two or three minutes it'll be okay so good good if you enjoyed this video don't forget to get a big thumbs up helps with the growth of my channel any comments you've got down below you know where to stick them if you're first time you're watching mixed mowers hit the old subscribe button and whack the old bell set notifications to all about a tell about one i've done a video or two i'm on my saturday night wiki live stream which starts between 6 p.m uk time and goes to about nine o'clock um, uk time as well i hope you did enjoy this video um, thank you very much for watching and being very patient with me i look forward to seeing the next episode of mixed mowers very very soon but until then, people don't forget more importantly take her easy